Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, it's Sunday night and you know what that means. Fear the Walking Dead. We are going to be taking a look at Season 7, Episode 12, Sunny Boy. I got it right that time. You got it right. Like my fourth tank. (laughs) I... You know, it's fear. Uh, you probably are sick of us complaining by, uh, complaining about the writing already. So I will start off each intro saying I am going in super positive. Let's hope this one is another tiny little step up from last week with Daniel. Coming back. And folks, just let's just hope that. <laughs> let's just, hey, guys, you know what? I've come to... Just lower your expectations a little bit. Have fun with this show. Don't let's not let's all do it on this episode. Everybody in the Bad Medicine family here, let's not take this one so seriously. Let's laugh when it's funny. Let's call them out when it's not any good. And I think we'll have a much more enjoyable viewing experience if we don't take it so seriously. I watched a little bad TV today just to get myself in the mood for it. So I'm ready to go. I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Dave, let's go! You're only as good as your partner. What? Oh, he found something. A walkie? Why is... Why is this all getting trashed? Maybe they're looking for a traitor. A lot of them. Whoa. <laughs> what? What's going on? Are they doing this in front of the kid? Yeah. We found a walkie in your mattress. They're going to give her the old Jacques Cousteau right off the back. That's it. That's the punishment for everything. You steal a can of beans, you're out of here. You got a walkie, you're out of here. Jesus. (laughs) Right in front of the kid. It's never going to work, John. Why not? Because the only voice Victor Strand listens to is his own. And he has a yes man like Howard who won't question him. Things are starting to go sideways here. He's paranoid. Ever since Morgan poisoned him, he's got it in his head. (laughs) That's right. Morgan, yeah. Morgan at the elevator, but he found him with Strand yeah, figured it out. Yeah, on his thumb. Oh, Charlie looks like I'll be right shit. In. Oh, she's done. <laughs> Later, Charlie. That's what she gets for taking out Nick. Guys, drop a comment. Do you have any sympathy for Charlie after what for what she did to Nick? I don't. Hey, and on top of that, our good friends over at Knock Bros, you probably have seen it already, but if you haven't, they actually did a comparison video on why does Negan get a pass and Charlie doesn't because of her taking out of Nick. So go watch that if you haven't yet, folks. <clears throat> what makes you think Victor won't change you? That's not gonna happen. That's exactly what happened to your son. Well, He's that's not entirely fair. Game, just... We found another walkie, Howard. What? What? Well, looks like we might just get rid of our big problem, Howard. I told you I needed the right opportunity to get to Strand. I think I just found it. Now, JD's yes, sir. Got, He's got a direct line to Strand now. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Now he just has to show Strand can 100% trust him, which he's going to do. Mm-hmm. I'll be straight with you, Victor. I've got some concerns about how you're running this place. <laughs> <laughs> just like he practiced. Yep. Love it. Ran this over my head a hundred times. Wait! Oh! oh come on! <laughs> I swear! The have size since the beginning. You know the rules, Howard. I didn't do this! Wait! Oh! oh! <laughs> he did Someone planted the walking. So you doubt me. Uh. How are you going to prove that, Howard? Yeah. Regardless of how it got there, I can't believe a word you say until I have proof. We got a problem. What do you mean she's missing? Infants don't just vanish into thin air. What? I'll find her. <laughs> I don't trust you. Do you think it's June doing all this? If anybody. Has to be June. I mean, who else is left at the tower to do it? I mean, remember... Morgan had a plan. Mm-hmm. John dressed like the I Undertaker. Like there. <laughs> You're betting on me. I've seen the Dory spirit in action. I once saw your son build a raft from a broken down truck just to get back to June. He cared about the right things. As do you, which is why you came to me and spoke of your desire to recalibrate things here. Hmm. Good point. This tower is bigger than the both of us. It is the way I'll be remembered. My legacy. <laughs> I want to see his big painting again. Well, let's just say I know what it's like to do the wrong thing for the right reason. Oh, yes, he, he does. does. I'm willing to listen. I need to know that you can deliver. Good luck, John. 
I mean, at He's, least with the writing, they na- Strand Coleman Domingo just nails it. <clears throat> yep. If I knew where she was, I'd tell you. You have to let me help. We need to find her. You think I could keep a baby? <laughs> <laughs> I want that kind of eat. The oh, they did let Wes in. After mm-hmm. you showed up. Do you know something, Joe? Do you know where Mo is? Yeah, of oh, course. Oh, Thanks, John. She's got a terrible poker face. Morgan and the others are not going to make their move as long as the baby is in this tower. See, mm. you're going to sneak her out. I didn't say that. The resistance is real and you're part of it. The less you know, the better. Keyword <laughs> resistance. Yep. I've heard that before. Keep power distracted. Walking. Okay, that wasn't me. Would you tell me if it was? I have to go, John. Okay, so we know June obviously took baby Momo. Yep. So who's the other perpetrator? Uh oh. She's been outside. Yeah. So who's the other perpetrator with. Uh, Plant in the walkie. Unless you think Howard is in on it and that he does genuinely want to overthrow Strand and want his tower back. Nah. He's too loyal. So helmet armor. Why did they highlight that? Yeah, there's got to be some some symbology there. Whoever put it here, they are getting exactly what they want. No boots. But you understand why I also have to question you. He has like all these sp- trophies of famous other people. Like maybe he always wanted the glory but could never get it himself. Drink? Ah, don't touch the stuff. I was just going to yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> Boss. <laughs> never struck me as a family man. Why not? Because we've never it seen it. Lack of compassion and restraint. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it is coming from a man <laughs> who abandoned his own son. Oh, trade some shots. Right Strand mentioned a wife, a son. Now, Deb? No, that's my not at all, chick. John. <laughs> <laughs> my wife left me before the world did what it did the first time. She took our son with her. They're probably gone. You ever hear the Travis letter? On the second day of the siege of the Alamo, he writes a letter asking for reinforcements. He's a history buff. Yeah. I think they did show us that in the last episode. I just couldn't remember. Mm. What people didn't know was that there was more to it. An addendum that I personally discovered made me the toast of the historical community. I traveled all over giving lectures, months and months away from Mateen and his mom. Sounds like quite the achievement. I forged it. Ouch. It's a fraud. My wife's at the door, bags packed. She said I was more concerned with making history than I was with making a life for her and my son. Ouch. The the workaholic, you know, type. My wife and boy are out there somewhere. If they find it, they'll see that this history can be their life. I hope so. What you call a lack of compassion and restraint. I call building a legacy. We covered a five mile radius. The baby's not out there. <laughs> it's not crawling out in the rain somewhere. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm not proud of everything I've done here. But if it all leads to my family finding this place, then it will have been worth it. Justifications. And if they don't find it? I don't like to think about that. And that would mean everything I've done has been for nothing. Dude, you didn't run those scenarios through your head? No. Clearly, he's not like a Walter White where you think every scenario through. No. If you want to leave a legacy. How did you know? Your boots. Ground out here gets muddy when it rains. Are we going to be this inconsistent? I know people might pick on us for that, but come on. You can't have Charlie be exposed like that and then no. have June out here. Just, I don't like that. Very inconsistent. Yeah, taking out the radiation zombies. And having Momo <laughs> next to him. And like a little plastic crate protection in case i ran into trouble with the moat you actually think that would have protected you that woman the rest of her oh remember her she was great i'm sweating that's why this needs to happen now great fantastic Fantastic. guys didn't see that as a weak link like that star oh god what the hell hey did you see that? Yeah. The locker went, punched his arm. Yeah. You've never seen that before. What the hell? Dude, you just got to walk with that. Yeah, like through a right hand. <laughs> okay, well, at least here you can do a little stabby stab with your knife. This should be no problem. Look at him. I'm going to submit my legacy. You're going to help me. What's with it's this like legacy stuff. Well, everybody's trying to do the same goal. They just have different ways of getting there. 
No one's going to remember any of this legacy stuff. <laughs> My gun's over there by the tunnel. Don't you have a it. knife? I came to help her. <laughs> <laughs> Just June's face like, yeah. aw. <laughs> What's that? Just a song, John. Would you guys take out your knives and get rid of these walkers? This is, it's ridiculous. Because I set this all in motion. The walkie. Oh, I he planted, planted it, it in Howard's room. I knew it. I knew it was the only way I was going to get Strand to listen to me over Howard. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, John. Just like he planted the evidence, remember? Mm -hmm. Same thing you did when you planted that purse to make sure that Teddy went to jail. <laughs> Can I hold up a cue card? Mother! Because the last time I did the wrong thing for the right reason, I abandoned my son. Well, what happened to John, what's happening to Charlie, won't happen. Again, her. could we deal with the walkers here? Yeah. Please. We can change things here, but not while Strand is in charge. <laughs> now we're going to worry. I understand some of that combo probably had to happen, but there yeah. has to be also urgency with this stuff. What are you going to do? Get through them. Same way Mickey did. Nobody has knives, Dave. Well, I didn't see what John walked in with, so. Well, he, our characters have had knives on forever. Well, you can't assume everybody. He, Take her before more come. I can't. You have to, John. Uh, 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 I only have one left. Tunnel. I'm not leaving. What are you doing? Oh, John, what's going on here? This is so frustrating. Paul, oh. oh. whoever helped you plan this little escape, get him down here to help us. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing these walkers as a threat. You could just bop them in the heads. Because it didn't for Charlie. Because it didn't for me. I don't understand. Oh, has he got radiation? He does. Come on. Oh, okay, guys. Everyone's getting radiation. So guess what? That means June's getting it, too. Yep. You cannot not have her get it now. Being in those close quarters. In the water, too. Yep. Ah, uh, we're losing John, dude. Grace, I need some help. Gosh, I shouldn't be upset. I'm I sorry for JD to go out like that with all these lazy walkers that they could just be bopping on the head. At this point... I know, but it's just like... How did it happen? Bringing Charlie back from that building. I must have got exposed to the same thing she did. I was careful. I was quick. Like it or not, this is the only place you'll be safe. I thought John was going to be my legacy. Now, I can't lose another child. God damn it, if I heard that word legacy <laughs> one more time. <laughs> God! Hey, the blood can splatter. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter now because yeah. there's Strand. Yeah. Now you're all in for it. <laughs> Jesus. Now Morgan has to come in. Yep. Told you I'd find her. You didn't find her. He did. <laughs> oh, he still doesn't believe him. <laughs> what? Wow, JD got a pass. Yeah, they both did. And no civilization can stand. Dude, we're Having losing Howard. I've been fighting by your side since the beginning. Are we losing Howard? We're losing one of them. You, John, do you believe in this place? I believe in what it can be. He was trying to help her escape. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up when I'm talking. Push him over the edge. What? The moment we found that walkie, any faith I had in you eroded. It wasn't mine. He's right. Because I planted that walkie. John. Oh, John. <laughs> I oh. went off this show so bad. <laughs> you framed Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh. Love the strand. <laughs> you don't do something like that unless you're invested. Oh, come on, you can't be he gained, Now he's I'm gaining still his trust. I really need you to do that other thing I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Don't do that. You will do it. Unless you want me to bring June up here. No. Or Grace. Bruce and Howard. Oh, no, my family. I'm sorry. But you did the same to others. Wait, no. God, no. Really? No. <laughs> Didn't even try to fight Wait, back. Go fight from Howard. Uh -huh. Howard, zero <laughs> fight. Just, don't touch me. <laughs> this family was never going to find this place because they're dead. Our scouts found them months ago. You knew his wife and son were dead. 
And you said nothing? Why would I? It's what drove them to help me build this place to what it's become. Just like Daniel. Everyone needs something. It's the motivation. Right. It's right there. That's been a theme now the last two episodes. Everybody needs motivation. <laughs> Boy, you just don't know which way Strand is going to no. go. You thought, wow. I, I love, thought he was. I, I really dig how a Strand is right now with mm-hmm. the, uh, man, you, you devilish some bitch. I like you. Mm-hmm. I, I'm so surprised. No fight from Howard. No. Just, don't touch me. <laughs> just, oh. just took it. Jeez. Oh. oh, okay. Now I'm seeing that photo. It's kind of yeah. like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh and, he, and then he's looking at the booze. Yep. Oh, shit. Back on the gas. Oh. Well, I, he in his mind, he's a, he's a goner, so yeah. I guess we'll, <laughs> why not? <laughs> he's, but, he's destroying that bottle. Toss the pitcher. Stop yeah, looking at it, Get rid man. of that. You can't think straight with that thing up. I thought you were off the sauce. I was. Far be it for me to judge. <laughs> Gosh, Victor is so great. Every line he delivers is... I know. Coleman is just pure gold. I oh. want you to know that, Coleman. I don't oh. know if you'll ever see this, but you are a treasure for Fear of the Walking Gosh. Dead, just so you know. We need to get him on more stuff. I don't want what happened today to happen ever again. I know that Grace was in what happened to me, as was June. I am going to remand Mo to my sole custody. Permanently. Mo will be raised in the penthouse by me. You can't keep her away from her mother. Mother's dead. <laughs> I was just going to say. Yeah. You do whatever it is you need to do to ensure that no one takes that baby. <laughs> <laughs> do your thing. You were never going to listen to what I had to say, were you? Everyone needs something to drive them, John. They keep hitting at that. It will be your legacy. Uh. No. Oh. I was like, we can't lose it's Coleman. Yeah. This place isn't my legacy. She is. Please he's stop gonna, with legacy. He's, Gosh. He's going to take her and make a run. Hey, Mr. Dory. Hey, you. Stay where you are. Let's bring you here to you. Oh, he's going to put on the helmet, the boots, all that. Yeah, all the gear. There the it armor, is. That's why it was there. You know, I was almost saying, do you think somebody's going to wear that armor? But... <laughs> Look at that hat. I can do this. I want to do this. You got some brass goons, my friend. It's not about me. Are, are, we, are we fucking losing John? You think this is JD's last run? They ca- They keep driving my legacy this whole freaking episode. Mm-hmm. And Well, we're already losing John. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah. He's got radiation. There's no way they're fixing him. There are a lot of things I got wrong in this life. This won't be one of them. <laughs> Fuck, he's done. They only do this kind of stuff with yep, the actors for, the, for the, like their sad goodbyes. Yeah, their big send off. Where is he? Where's the baby? <sighs> there's, Wes. There's oh. the man, Wes. <laughs> you can always count on Wes. Oh my God, is he going to get picked off? But isn't little Mo going to get radiation now? Oh, poor kid going through this. Oh, oh. What are you? St- oh, it's oh, Howard. There's Howard, yeah. Oh, how is? Little Mo just not getting crushed. He disappointed me. That's what people do. Better hope they don't have a rifle up there. Partner. West gets it. He gets it in this world. Oh, Oh, it's on the hand. Oh, it's munching on his hand. He's munching on his hand. Wait, was that was that something covering it right there? Uh, maybe he still had the boxing glove or whatever on it. I don't think he got bit. Yeah, he just puts his whole crew in danger, though. June and everybody. Yeah, all of them. You guys are done. I got you. Hey, you're good. Oh, yep. God. Yep, that's how he went out. I'm sorry. Got it. Oh, Take care man. Of I, will. I was just thinking at the beginning of this episode how much Keith Carradine has brought to this series. Oh, no. Oh, are you going out They're like that? They're showing it. They're showing it. Oh, man. Sacrificing himself as a happy meal for him. You may have won the battle today, Morgan, but the war is just beginning. I have people here that you care about. Me. Yeah. Great. And if you take a step into this place, I will kill them. I'm surprised he doesn't do it now. As for the rest of you, 
The offer to join me still stands. I need good people here to help me secure the future of this place. You know where to find me. Oh, what a brutal. Oh, and he's going to sing his way out, too. For I love you so, sunny boy. Oh, is that it? Yep. Well, Diamond Dave, I know this is going to go down as one of your favorite episodes. I was just thinking when this episode started how lucky we were to have Keith Carradine and Colin Domingo on this show because they always knock it out of the park. And that was how JD Sr. goes out. Uh, just like that. The hero's ending, I guess. Um, I was questioning a lot of things in this episode, guys. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to kind of roll through a couple of things. Go, go right ahead. <laughs> Again, the walkers in the drainage tunnel, whatever you want to call it. Did our heroes suddenly forget how to fight? How many times have we seen Rick Grimes go around and bash in their heads with the end of his uh, of his colt, you know? Mm -hmm. And now you telling me that all of our characters have always had knives on their hip since season one, episode one, essentially. And now one of them had a knife. These silly walkers are just standing there, not even doing anything. They could have bopped all four of them and been done with it, got out of there. You know, who knows? That part really irritated me. And I know I maybe talked about it maybe too much during the reaction, <laughs> but it really bothered me. I thought that was very poorly done, very lazy. Um, I'm a little worried that the radiation is going to kind of be used as an excuse whenever we're written into a hole and we just want to get rid of somebody. Oh, radiation. I'm done for, Dave. <laughs> just go ahead and write me off, you know? Um, but guys, I will say all jokes aside and the fact that John Dory can drink an entire bottle of whiskey and not slur his speech, still run perfectly, and June didn't say, hey, John, you've been drinking again? Well, they didn't smell it Didn't on. have any of that, but I still think this was probably the best episode of this half of the season, and it's really not even close. I, I really did like this episode, guys, as much as you know, we had our fun with it and questioned a lot of the plots and kind of the way things were handled. I still enjoyed it a lot, so... I guess we'll see. Now Morgan has Mo, and does that mean that Strand has lost his edge? Um, again, I still can't hate on Wes. I think he's the only one in this universe with any damn sense. So, you know, he knows what's going on. He'll they'll probably get rid of him because I, I think he's doing a good job. But your thoughts? You know, I will pick right up and say this was lights out. The episode of season, uh, season seven, part B here by... 42 miles yeah this close. this blows out the other episodes that we just seen uh, and we are fans of all the actors the actors are doing a great job with some of the writing they have been served without a doubt so we're not hating on the on the actors at all our problem is with the writers not that anyone said that we do have a problem with the, the actors i'm just saying it so that it is said out loud just in case we haven't before there's been a little bit of heat out there these days yeah <laughs> let me start off the uh john Dory Sr. here. Uh, I guess if, you know, looking back now in the episode, they were dropping the hints mm -hmm. that something was going to happen to him. Uh, I, I didn't pick it up until just before he was going to go because yeah. it, the way he kept saying that stupid word, legacy. Yeah. Well, you were on it when they showed his picture in the, in the opening credits. So when they showed him standing there just like Charlie. So you were on it. Give yourself some credit. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. But anyway... With uh, with with this whole, it sucks that we lost him with this uh, with the radiation stuff. I hope that isn't going to be a thing. But the way they are setting this up, I know he said he got it wherever Charlie was. Mm -hmm. But folks, we were just they were just surrounded by 10, 12 all bubbly walkers, you know, radiation walkers. How are we supposed to not think that June is going to get something? She's been hanging around. Charlie, now I don't know if yeah. this is 100% transmissible, transmission, whatever. That too. I can't talk. But anyway, I don't know if it can be passed on from one person to the other, but it is radiation. Mm -hmm. So, folks, you have to be masked up in full gear in PPE all the damn time if you're around these people because it does radiate off mm -hmm. the body. Feel free to correct me if I'm 100% wrong here, but just saying... 
I'm really concerned for June. De- and uh, well, I'm concerned for Mo. They just had her. In I was some just going to say and Mo down in there with all these walkers. And Mo now. I mean, Mo was just right here on John with yeah, 82 walkers <laughs> trying to get after him. So I'm a little worried about baby Momo. Uh, I'm sure the writing though in this show, she'll be fine, but I'm still a little worried because you never know. They have taken out a baby here with Grace. They have. So let's not put it past them, folks. They got balls sometimes when it comes <laughs> to that stuff. Uh, for you know, for half, half a second there, I almost thought when they were up on the tower and you know Strand was looking at him through the binoculars, I was almost thinking the Lori death with uh, Judith from the comics, where maybe oh he falls, where maybe uh, Strand takes out. Uh, JD and he falls on Mo. I oh that would have been brutal. For half a second, I was thinking that guys, but then I'm like, nah, there's no way it would mess things up too much. So, but maybe they teased it for fans of the comics. If any of you out there thought that, I would love to hear it. That I'm not the only one. Yeah. So, Bravo, Keith, you did fantastic. You did fantastic on this whole series. Wish you would have stayed longer because I think you were a good piece to this show. I doubt you'll ever see this, but. Kudos, man. Uh, we lost Howard. <laughs> Either way, Strand, that was per- Again, Coleman, your oh, treasure to the show. Hopefully know- nothing ever happens to you because you need to be like full force pushed. You didn't know which way Strand was going to go there when he yeah. had them both up on the top of the tower. Is he going to take out uh, Howard? Is he going to take out John? Both of them? None of them? You had no idea. No, and, and that was great. So I love everything about the Strand character. Obviously, real life, dirty, dirty moves. But for our entertainment purposes and this fun, uh, this actually turned out to be a fun story. Yeah. I dig it. So uh, overall, great episode. Nothing hitting towards Madison yet. I have to imagine uh, that was episode 12. Guys, we only got four left. So uh, the Madison stuff is obviously coming here. It's just a matter of when they're going to start dropping those uh, hints. Maybe at the end of this next one. Who knows? Uh, I still don't believe a war is going to happen here. I, I do think... Madison's probably going to interrupt that, or everyone kind of finds their kumbaya moment, and because we've been seeing that sometimes, <laughs> oh, and I, I know, think that's what's going to happen. The here. way June is so against Strand, I just don't know if I see it happening. And I think we're—I honestly think we're losing June because I. Oh yeah. If if the show is yep. coming down to June trying to take out Strand, I don't think we're losing Strand. No. Because Strand is a big piece for Madison. Yes, those two are like oil and water. They got to stick together, Strand and Madison. Yeah, That'll be the next chapter, I think, now that mm-hmm. you kind of got my wheels turning a little bit. I think, uh, yeah, we might lose a lot of characters this uh, this season, guys. It's almost going to be like another restart, I think. <laughs> I mean, Charlie looked terrible. Her, yeah. she, her time's coming, uh, and most likely she'll be out before Madison because I know I've seen some people say this too, and it makes a thousand percent sense here where – if Madison were to run into Charlie healthy and she knows that yeah, well, she, she took out Nick, Nick, I don't think Madison's going to hesitate and take her out. No. But I will be interested to see, and, and again, maybe this is jumping ahead, but I will be interested to see what the character of Madison is like now. How has she changed? What's her attitude? You know, we've seen characters go away and then come back and be very different. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. I mean, like I said, overall, probably their best one. Yeah, it's a great uh, I was episode. Way, it's I was a great way, episode. I was yeah. way more invested yeah. in this one than I was in the three combined. Yeah, I was just, so. like I said, the only thing that irritated me was some of the, I, I don't know, would you guys even call them plot holes with the way they acted around the walkers? That could have easily been taken out. Plot but, armor. But they somehow the walkers. they somehow became a problem for them. I mean, it was, it was, that one was really tough for me to swallow, but everybody else did great. And a shout out to my man, Wes. The only guy with any sense on the show. And real quick, um, if you made it this far, I know it's the tail end. If you have made it this far, I don't think with any more spinoffs that The Walking Dead should be giving these people any more episodes beyond 12 max. The Walking Dead was 16. It was perfect because they had their A team on it. Mm -hmm. From the spinoffs now, mm -mm, don't even do any more than 12 because then these people... Ian Goldberg and the rest of you, Scott Gimple, and so on and so forth. Just drag the, you just draw shit out. Those first three episodes, folks, could have been easily oh, one. That episode. could have been one episode. Easily one. Yeah. But whatever. I'm gonna get off my soapbox there. I just wanted to get that out right here at the tail end of our review. So drop your comments down below about this episode. It was a banger. 
May, not, oh, well, not full-fledged 10 banger, but it was a banger considering the pre previous three. Yeah, <laughs> considering how low the bar was set, hey, this one delivered, and it was a great way to spend our Sunday with you guys. So we will be seeing you next Sunday for episode 13. Let's hope they keep that momentum going. See you guys.